exciting man in mixed martial arts today. My fantasy football team is Team Gaethje. Justin Gaethje, since signing with the UFC a few years ago, has absolutely taken this promotion by storm. And he's only in main events. He's only in main events because you know, when you put Justin Gaethje at the top of the marquee, people will show up to watch in the arena, but they will also tune in on their television sets, on their computers, their laptops, on your PS4, or your Xbox, regardless of the console, people will show up to watch Justin Gaethje fight. All action fighter, has great wrestling, but it's his boxing and his leg kicks that has truly made him special for fight fans all around the world. Justin, the highlight teacher, ready to engage in another high profile matchup here tonight. Introductions. We go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Oh, well, Justin Gates, he looks pretty good with that nose fix. He's probably going to kill me for saying it. But candidly, tonight his focus is on the all time great Habib Nurmagomedov, looking to put him in his place for a second. Time. He got the nose fix. I, I, I didn't even think Gates cared huh. enough to get the nose fix. But he's got it fixed, but it is guaranteed to get tested whether or not that plastic surgeon got it right. Because these guys are going to beat the middle. Habib's going to go forward. Gates only knows going forward, and they are going to come together, and that will make for an exciting fight. Can Gates just stay upright, though? He needs to be on his feet to have a chance against Habib Nurmagomedov. Oh, perfect head kick there. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, that's a big connection for Justin Gaethje and really just loves being in that octagon. I'm not sure anybody loves fighting as much as Gaethje. People don't enjoy being in someone's face, getting punched and landing punches as much as Justin Gaethje. He's right where he wants to be. Oh, man, both of these guys Right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Got it 
his hand looking for a guillotine. That guillotine is very tight. He's trying to tighten the grip on his guillotine choke. He seems to have it, but he's got to really get his hip up to his opponent and make sure his opponent doesn't roll off to the side. He's going to him. There it is. I need to work out his position. Oh, hang on a second. He escapes. What a tremendous job. You saw his hands immediately go to the inside. Attack the lock. Create some space. Roll to your back. Give up the mount, but live to fight another day. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Gaethje's cut now above the eye, courtesy of that strike. We will keep an eye on it as the fight continues. Several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown. Kept on trying and finally got him to the ground. Mm, that was nice. Big ground and pound. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. Guillotine attempt. Now looks as though he's got the neck. That guillotine is tight. tonight by way of submission and he bided his time there he stayed patient waited for an opening and then when it was there he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight all right let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight champ just watch how slowly he approaches the submission though he never rushes he takes his time but it's his trickiness it's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts him in danger and finishing fights Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 23 seconds of the very first round. To claim the winner by tap out, Kadeem the Eagle, Revival Medal. All right, so a lot of fighters have suffered from a similar fate against Khabib Nurmagomedov. You heard it there from Buff. He gets it done by submission tonight. I mean, this is his world. When you're having to grapple with Habib Nurmagomedov and spend extended periods of time on the ground, you're constantly under duress. You're constantly in danger. And Habib finds his position to get the submission victory that he wanted so badly and truly propels himself towards the top of his division. And he said he might have been able to win a kickboxing match here tonight. But you hear us talk about the path of least resistance. Nurmagomedov took it tonight, and he gets it done by submission. <laughs>